Hello guys, welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video. In this one, I will simply pose a simple question. And it goes, will Asano make top 4 from their results of pre-season from their incomings, the players they have bought and those who have gone out, where do you see Asano standing basing on what we saw last season, they came and surprised everyone with the performance they put up. Only that a few disappointing results at the end. I think that two new loss to Newcastle and three new loss to Tottenham disturbed their arrangements. Otherwise, they would be having Champions League football this season. Okay. Asen have made five major signings, including Gabriel Jesus, Pablo Vieira from Porto, Alexander Zichenko, then Matt Tuna, and Maquinos. And also another signing, though it's not that new, as the renewing of Edin Ketia's contract, including giving him that historical shirt number of Thierry Henry. Considering those who have left the club, I think uh, there is only Lacazette and Gwenduz. Gwenduz was on loan, but he, he permanently moved to Marseille. Then Lacazette for him, he, he, he went as a free transfer to Lyon. And the recent news also showed that uh, Bad Leno joined Fulham. With that said, we can now reflect on the preseason games. Arsenal have played five games and they have won all of them, including defeating Seville by 6 0, Chelsea 4 0, and Everton 2 0. And in these games, Gabriel Jesus has scored seven goals. This was an impressive result. So if you can take that home to the new season, you may see wonders on the side of Arsenal. Getting into the Premier League, which is starting on Friday, Arsenal are playing the first game of the season and they will be taking on Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace is coached by, is managed by Patrick Vieira, <laughs> Arsenal legend there. And last season, Arsenal didn't manage to take a single win from Crystal Palace. And they haven't managed to do that in the last five games. They haven't won. Arsenal have not won a game against Crystal Palace in the last five games. So the second game will be against Leicester. That will be Arsenal. Arsenal's first game at home. Then go to Bournemouth. Now we then... They will host Fulham, then Aston Villa, and then Manchester United. So, the first five games are all against mid-table and lower-table teams. So, Arsenal can win these ones. The first five, and if they can get 15 from the first possible 15, this will boost so much their confidence. So, guys, let me know. In the comment section, where do you see Arsenal ending? I personally think Arsenal. Arsenal oh, Martinelli head like down, four. looking to run out. His defender instead yes, finds a the goal. Who picks out the bottom court? They have to play Europa League. So I think they may end like fifth or sixth, depending on how Chelsea Sunday Manchester United perform. And Martinelli head down, looking to run out. His defender instead finds Odegaard, who picks out the bottom corner.